Should you off-road a luxury SUV or is that just crazy? Matter of fact, it seems like an oxymoron to take a fancy SUV off-road. Don't those concepts contradict each other? Today, we're going to talk about it and more importantly, we're going to discover if a luxury off-road SUV is right for you. back to the channel everybody today we're going to talk about a bit of an oxymoron and that is off-roading a luxury vehicle and if it's right for you now it's a little bit of an oxymoron in many people's mind to off-road a luxury vehicle such as this Lexus GX 460 or a Lexus LX600 or a Mercedes G-Wagon or whatever SUV is considered luxury. But we really have to ask ourselves why such a concept is an oxymoron or contradictory in most people's minds, or at least some people's minds. And we have to go back to the beginning of off-road history and see that it stems from a uh, very utilitarian type of activity. Went off-road to do things, whether it was in a Jeep with military history uh, or later uh, turning into utilitarian history. The point is it had utilitarian, um, very practical beginnings. So in the minds of many people, off-roading and luxury are two things that just don't mix. So fast forward to today and auto manufacturers have a lot of offerings out there that allow you to go off-road in relative luxury. However, I think that the concept, while it's been out for a while, luxury off-roading, is still somewhat off-putting to people, still somewhat perplexing the people, especially if they're rooted in that tr uh, tradition of utilitarian off-roading. And so we're going to explore uh, if luxury off-roading is right for you. And how we're going to do this is basically you have to decide which camp you're in. Are you in that utilitarian, when I go off-roading, I don't need anything, roll up windows is all I need. I don't need heat, I don't need an AC, I just need four-wheel drive and some good tires and I'm good to go. If that's you, then great. Um, this probably won't apply to you. But I think most people, once they get a taste of this so-called luxury, and I'll tell you why I'm putting it in quoting marks in a second here, that they're going to have trouble going back to the old utilitarian way of off-roading. And what I mean by that is simple. Luxury, as I call it in quotations, on these modern uh, luxury uh, four by four vehicles are really nothing more than what I call comfort and convenience. Meaning, it's not really luxury. You know, what is that? My ideal luxury is you're in the back seat of a limo and someone else is driving and you have a butler in the limo. That's a luxury car when you're not even driving. So, in truth, it's comfort and convenience. So now you have to ask yourself, is that something that's important to you when you go off-road? Despite your cultural conceptions about how off-roading should be this rugged, um, you know, visceral, uh, raw type of experience where, you know, you don't have any, or you have minimal comfort and convenience. But I think auto manufacturers have realized for a while and have been trying to market the fact that that doesn't have to be the case. And in fact, you're going to find luxury off-roading more enjoyable. And that's what today's video is all about. 
let's go over what I think are some of the most enchanting features, luxury features, of this Lexus GX460. Now, I'll tell you ahead of time, these are going to seem marginal unless you experience them, but they do collectively add up to an overall more comfortable, enjoyable driving experience off-road, in my opinion. The first thing, and these are in no particular order, the first thing that I enjoy the absolute most about this Lexus GX460 off-road is its automatic uh, mirrors that pull in when you hit a button. I cannot tell you how many times we went off-road <laughs> and you're in a tight spot and you just hit a button and you can pull in uh, your mirrors and you won't get hit by the bushes or rocks or whatever it is you're trying to squeeze through. Additionally, when other people are on the trail and you're trying to pass them or they're trying to pass you and it's a tight spot, you can pull in your mirrors to avoid them. Then with a push of a button, you just hit the mirror button again and then out they go. This is so seemingly trivial, maybe on other cars <laughs> or maybe just in general, but not having to reach out manually and pull your mirrors in or reach over to the other side of the vehicle and pull that mirror in and then push them back out is such an energy saver. And that's kind of what these enchantments are going to be all about, energy savings. Because as you get older, such, uh, sort, such manual labor becomes redundant. And it's just something you, not, you don't want to expend your energy on uh, over and over every day. It's crazy and little as that sound. But, you know, I, I don't think I'm crazy in saying this because I think that's why they're on these vehicles to begin with. In essence, what I'm saying is uh, older people <laughs> older people don't like uh, using their muscles to do things like pulling in their mirrors. So uh, pulling in the mirrors is one of those things that is so trivial but so awesome off-road. All right, the next thing is the stereo system. Uh, I have a separate video on that, but the stereo system off-road is just nice. And so when you're cruising down a trail enjoying the ride or whatever and you just want to listen to some music, it just makes the experience that much more um, enriching and enjoyable. The comfortable uh, heated and ventilated seats that you're sitting in. Uh, this is something that when you go off-road and, you know, you may be one of those people like me who likes to pull the windows down and the, have the sunroof open and then you might get chilly or hot, but then play around with the HVAC controls to then kind of counteract that so you can kind of get climate control with the outside open air experience as well. So the, the heated and ventilated seats along with the heated steering wheel uh, never disappoint off-road. It just makes it that much more nicer uh, when you're on the trail to have these creature comforts warming your butt and cooling it and you know, heating your hands when it gets a little chilly outside. It just really feels good. All right, let's be honest here. This video is about getting old. <laughs> And all the awesome things such as auto wipers that just came on. Uh, all the awesome luxury features that make uh, old people's life um, more comfortable. <laughs> the auto wipers just came on. As mentioned, to pull in those mirrors, just hit a button. And in they go. You got both mirrors in. And you can skimp by without having to use your muscles and hurt yourself. You got your heated seats, ventilated, all that stuff down here to make you nice and cozy so you don't uh, get crampy and you you know you stay warm. Down here you have memory seats. You have uh, some buttons down there so your uh, wife or husband or whatever can uh, have their own seating positions so they don't have to bother yours. And what that essentially means is, uh, you know, less energy messing around with the seating position, changing it from your spouse into back to your position. You just hit a button and it automatically goes to the way you set it. So it adds up over time, the, the energy saved uh, for uh, us getting older 
people who are now officially uh, lame or getting lamer. So, yeah, that's what this video is turning into. It's just a, 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 a <laughs> it's just a rave about uh, how uh, Lexus makes great off-road SUVs for old people. <laughs> the soundproof glass. The glass is thicker in these vehicles, so what you're essentially going to be uh, getting is a uh, quieter experience, which I guess everybody knows that's what happens in a luxury car. But off-road, when, uh, when you do want to roll up the windows and just kind of cruise along, or maybe it's cold out and you just don't want to have the windows out or it's hot out and you've got the AC blasting, that triple thick or whatever type of special glass they use on this plus all the sound deadening is going to make that experience uh, just so much more uh, quiet and enjoyable and again if if none of this sounds exciting to you maybe you're not old enough but that's just that's just by uh, subjective opinion but uh, these things add up uh, it, it the, these luxury features tend to take away minor nuisances in your off-roading experience that's a that's a great way to, to articulate what i'm babbling about today <laughs> finally i've hit it but the uh the, these take away these minor nuisances and you may not realize it until you try it and i guess that's what i'm going on and on and rambling about and i can't possibly list every little feature these are just i'm just throwing a few of them out there it's taken out those those inconveniences and nuisances and problems. It's just erasing little problems off your middle-aged list. <laughs> and uh, it just makes for an overall better experience. So at the risk of sounding repetitively lame, talking about how awesome it is to off-road a cushy SUV, I will say it is the probably the most ex exciting <laughs> exciting new market out there because I do think it is a new market because let's be honest trucks in the past have been more utilitarian now it doesn't matter what Ford Chevy whatever whatever you're getting into their higher-end models are going to be way more luxurious and it is exciting because it changes your off-road experience into something that I think is altogether a different type of off-roading whether you're off-roading or overlanding it takes it away from grandpa's you know horse and buggy <laughs> uh you know rawr, you know rolling down off-road and having to feel all the the sensations into something that is more controllable and up to you you can choose to turn all that stuff off all the luxury stuff off and roll the windows out and do it the old school way or you can choose to push all the buttons, have all the features, and enjoy that comfort. So it's one of those things that's hard to describe, but get out there and try it and see what all this silliness is about when you ask why in the world is, is Lexus and Mercedes and these top tier Broncos and Jeep trims, why are they putting all this luxury garbage? You, you know, you don't need that. It adds up in a way that I just can't articulate other than it feels really really good so um, if you're wondering should I do this should I not should I off-road a uh, luxury car that's stupid right no you'll it, it makes all the difference if such uh, things like comfort are important to you and uh, be honest with yourself it is so get out there and try it. it's not a silly idea you have to try it one time at least to realize whoa this is this is a different experience this is way more comfortable enjoyable overall and like I said you have the choice turn it off if you don't like it and you want to go back but you can't with the, the SUV without all the luxury comfort and convenience stuff you can't you know you can't add that if you don't have it so with this you can turn it off or turn it on so you have the best of both worlds anyway I think I've rambled enough today about being old <laughs> so if you found this if, or if you found this video helpful or you're old too and you don't want you don't want your arthritis acting up when you're off road please remember to like and subscribe thank you and have a great day I tried my hardest not to make this video this topic 
<laughs> as lame as it sounds, or as, as lame as it feels that it's coming off as to you. So, 